Let's get started here. Hey, don't, don't get too scared when you see how tough I am. Oh, Dad's so determined. Being a ninja is quite special to Naruto. It's the first step to achieving his dream, after all. Uh, I know what happens after this, since his dream actually comes true. It just reminds me how amazing Dad is. His connection to Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruka grew deeper as soon as he joined the team center. The fact that Naruto saw Sasuke, an elite student, as his rival, it seemed to have a crush on Sakura. Whoa, what the? My body is... You're done collecting memories here. On to the next one. But wait, what happened to Dad and the others after that? Kakashi Hatake wasn't actually testing their strength. He just wanted to make sure they understood teamwork. Since they easily met his expectations, he officially welcomed them to Team 7. <laughs> of course they did. It is those three after all. From there, they took on various missions as ninja. The life of a ninja is full of danger. And this is the first time Naruto fought a life-or-death battle. Don't hold it against me. I had no other choice. I'm on this, Sasuke! Don't hold me back! You're slow. Stay away! It's the land of waves. In modern times, this spot is known as the Great Naruto Bridge. There was a great battle here to prevent the bridge from being built. Team 7 is taking on two ninja hell-bent on ending its construction. One is known as Zabuza Moj. Haku, who you see fighting now, had a special ability called the Keke Genkai, allowing him to manipulate ice style. So, he becomes a ninja and he's already fighting guys like this? Right. Fighting through life or death situations like these make him strong. his life as a tool of violence at Sabuza's disposal, which is not unheard of for the life of the On to the next point in time. Haku lived as Zabuza's tool of violence, yet in the end, Naruto was able to show Zabuza how much Haku cared for him. Seeing the way Haku and Zabuza died was a turning point in Naruto's life. With this experience under his belt, Naruto moved on to his next encounter. Against a ninja feared by many, known as Gara of the Sand. Oh, good old Gara. What's the matter? Do I scare you? You should only love yourself and fight for yourself. That is the definition of strength. Thought he was strong. Because he only fought for himself. And he was always alone. That's not what real strength is all about. So Dad and Ogara are fighting each other. The clash between two enormous villages, Relief and the Sand, caused the destruction of the Leaf. Gara was the secret weapon of the Hidden Sand. Due to the tailed beast known as Shukai, the Sand's tail. Tailed beast? Just like that. Correct. He was in the same situation as Naruto, holding a tailed no, beast no. inside and being persecuted by the creatures. Shukai! Oh, Gara has some killer attacks, huh? At this point in Gara's life, he couldn't trust him. 
but the one to soften his closely guarded heart was none other than no, Ryu Tony Kazumaki. Although their situations were similar, Naruto's connection to his friends and his This battle goes on forever. After encountering Naruto, Gara began to walk in the light. And I'm sure you know what happened after that. Uh-huh. He was accepted by all the villagers and became Kazikage. Naruto's spirit has influenced so many around him. Some are guided to the light as Gara was, while others have drifted toward darkness. Sasuke chose the latter path. Naruto reached out to Sasuke in a desperate attempt to stop him. He considered Sasuke an irreplaceable friend. Why, Sasuke, why? Uh, uh, how could it have come to this? I don't understand! I have my own path to follow. My own goals are all that matter. Sasuke was out to kill his older brother Itachi. It was his long-standing desire for revenge. But at the same time, he knew he wasn't strong enough to do it. And that's why he left the hidden room? Sasuke had been tempted by a Orochimaru. Sasuke believed that Orochimaru could make him strong enough to defeat his brother. Sasuke became resentful of Naruto's rapid progress as a ninja, and it pushed him toward the right path. Sasuke was greatly troubled. He made a bitter decision to leave after much thought. Naruto was special to Sasuke as well. One of those rare people he considered a close friend. Yet he was willing to sever that connection for revenge in search of the power he needed to kill his older brother. What did Sasuke have against his brother? His clan, the Uchiha, was destroyed by Itachi. Sasuke was filled with hatred because of it. That actually happened, though? These are all facts that have been covered up. Desires and ambitions pile up through the years, which ultimately shape our history. It continued to go back and forth without a decisive result. It provoked Naruto to unleash his ultimate power, using everything in his repertoire. He was still unable to stop Sasuke. Naruto refused to give up. Once his next chance had surfaced, he immediately took action. He decided to embark on a journey to train together with his new master, Jiraiya the legendary Sanin. And several years later, history would once again grow turbulent. To think those two had such a crazy past. I never knew about any of this. <laughs> What's this? Your collected memories change to light, gathered in a single spot. I get it. 
So if the light gets strong enough, Dad gets his memory back, right? Correct. Nice. I've got this figured out now. But first, since you've collected all the memories up to this point, you should head back to the Time Reservoir. It seems a fascinating development has begun. Fascinating development? Boruto, changes are happening in this space because you started returning the memories. What do you mean? This place is built on the space this Nanashi girl created. Therefore, her memories are mixed into the crevices of the space. Normally, those memories would not come to the surface. But this space isn't under her control now. That's why they reacted to this space, and her Kiseki appeared. So, if I touch that, I can see Nanashi's past? Whether you do it or not is up to you. However, if you want to know more about her... Of course I'll look. I hardly know anything about her. Yachi Hook, what a splendid ability. You will be our weapon from now on. If we implant other visual jutsu, you can multiply its effects. A weapon does not need a kind name. Nanashi will be perfect for you. I'll carve a new mark. You better conform this time. And quit your crying. Crying won't get you anywhere. No. No. No! Help! Someone please help me! Help! I think I've seen this. It's something only I saw a while ago. Something really horrible. That was Nanashi's past? The past is getting jumbled together. What you saw before was most likely her letting you in, and her control over the space began to diminish. So that's why only I was able to see it. However, that was enough to understand the awful things she's had to live through. Her Kiseki will appear again. Why don't you get back to what you were working on in the meantime? Yeah, I know. Okay, here goes. Much time had passed since Naruto and Sasuke last saw each other at the Battle of the Final Valley. Naruto returns from his training journey to the Hidden Leaf in high spirits. Team Seven's leader, Kakashi, has Naruto spar with Sakura. Of course, this was to assess how much the two of them had grown. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to take these guys more seriously this time. There's no way we can lose! Alright, watch and learn! Dad and Sakura really trained their butts off to get Sasuke back. That's how important their connection with Sasuke was to them. Naruto in particular needed his life to suffer in solitude. And that horrible experience is why he refused to give up on Sasuke, no matter what had become of their friendship. Yeah, for sure. I know Dad considers Sasuke a really close friend. Plus, it looks like Dad and Sakura have really grown. Of course it does. It only takes us an instant to witness years out of the their lives. Not that. I mean, sure, they got physically bigger, but it's like they're way more confident. The way they move looks so different. Are you saying they've grown in spirit? Are we moving on to the next battle already? Hmm. 
Kakashi was impressed with their growth. So Sakura and Naruto rejoined Team 7 to resume their missions. The ninja world had been turned upside down by a criminal organization called the Akatsuki, actively working behind the scenes to subvert peace. Naruto and Sakura had no choice but to join the fight, and finally got some new information on Sasuke. They set out to find Sasuke at once, but what they found was a mere shell of their former friend. Seriously? I don't know if I want to see this or not. Finally, we found you! What are you doing all the way out here? I came to bring you back! Sasuke gives off a completely different vibe. Just a cold, ruthless stare. He was steeped in darkness. He no longer felt a connection to his friends. He was consumed only by his hatred before he touched him. With that much hate, it doesn't matter how hard Dad and Sakura tried to convince him. Yes. That's it. Sasuke looks so bloodthirsty. Freaking now. Just watching this has me sweating. There's no compassion left anywhere within Sasuke. And he's really trying to kill me. Yes. Naruto's words couldn't reach him in this state. On to the next battle. What happened to Dad, Sakura, and Sasuke after that? Naruto and Sakura's desperate pleas went unheard by Sasuke. And once again, he vanished into darkness. Naruto lamented his inability to reach Sasuke. But this frustration was the driving force behind his next attempt. Naruto started training right away to go after his friend, yet again. But meanwhile, there was a target on his back. The Akatsuki invaded the Hidden Leaf to try and steal Nine Tails from within Naruto. The Hidden Leaf Ninja fought fiercely against the invasion, but the last to stand strong against the Akatsuki was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. I didn't think you'd come for me. <laughs> you saved me some time. Just like you! <laughs> Guess it's obvious, since I know what happens in the future. But Dad gets the win here, right? Why would you think that? I mean, look at the Dad wins this fight, hands down. I mean, he's brimming with confidence, and doesn't give off any signs of weakness. Interesting. The relationship as father and son gives you a unique perspective. Although Naruto fell into despair after failing to get through to Sasuke, he could rise to a new level for the reason. Of course, his ninja way played a role. More than anything, he has friends. Friends who support him. Connections built up since childhood that are always there for him. He worked to build those bonds. Knowing he's not alone, must be super encouraging. Rasengan! <laughs> 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 No, you no, you lose. Let's 
Now, with enough experience to defeat even Kakazu, citizens throughout Naruto's village recognized what a powerful ninja he'd become. The Akatsuki realized it would take a great deal of power to capture Naruto. And because of this, their leader, Pain, moved into action. Pain possessed the legendary Rinnegan Eye and was known for his jaw-dropping power throughout the ninja world. He had killed a great many ninja, even Naruto's master, Jiraiya. To avenge his master, Naruto trained even harder, this time acquiring sage powers to take on pain. The battle between them was extremely destructive. Just allow me to capture them. Your death shall prove this. I said shut up! Almighty force! My master! My friend! My village! Look what you did to all of them! I'll never forgive you! This is the Hidden Leaf Village? This is pain's doing. It shows you what incredible power the Renegade is capable of unleashing. Dad, our guy, who can do this? Naruto was consumed with fury at this time. But who could blame him? His master and friends were killed, and his village was destroyed. Yeah, he looks pretty pissed. I've... I've never seen Dad like this before. Naruto had become... the strongest ninja in the Hidden Leaf village. He's in sage mode, right? I know about this. He's gonna use nature energy or something. Naruto was the village's last hope of defeating pain. I never wanted anything to do with Dad. Now, he's their last hope. Just, wow. That's all I can say. Yes! I cannot believe you pushed me this far. I'm really getting fired up here. One deadly struggle after another. Naruto was victorious. During battle, Naruto discovered Nagata, who was actually controlling pain, and they revealed their goals to one another. Nagato had a different concept of peace than Naruto, but Naruto's great spirit softened his heart, and they reached a peaceful resolution. Naruto had saved the Hidden Leaf from crisis, and was welcomed by all as the village hero. Once an orphan, living alone, he was now accepted and loved by all. Dad. Oh. That shining light. You've collected all the memories up to now. Perhaps you should get back to the Time Reservoir. An omen of imminent danger hangs over the Time Reservoir. What is it? It seems her Kiseki appeared again. Yeah, I'll look into it. You are dangerous. You will live here from now on. Do you understand? The Senju are coming! Send Nanashi out here! Ha ha ha! Did you see that? The Senju clan were running scared! The Senju joined up with another clan. Apparently it was to fight Nanashi. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! Seal her up! 
stop. 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 Someone help me. Why is this happening to me? I hate everything. Ninja. This world. What I saw was her back at the time when she was sealed away. Her power was too great, so she was sealed away by people who thought she was dangerous. If I were treated unjustly by the Uchiha clan, and every ninja in the world became my enemy and was imprisoned, I could understand why you would come to deeply hate ninja in the ninja world. So that's why she's trying to destroy the ninja world now. Her misery is that she never found someone who understood her. There is only so much our hearts can take. This is wrong. Why do we have to fight allied villages? For Lord Mertz. Who is Lord Mertz? The Lord Seventh said the same thing, but I don't get it. We must fight in order to realize Lord Mertz's ideals. Get in our way. I'll do whatever it takes to stop you from fighting. How futile. Stopping me won't stop the war. What you're doing is meaningless. We'll see about that. The ninja from each village have arrived at the battlefield. The battle should begin shortly. So brittle. To have such a bond so easily broken. <laughs> Lord Payne. No, Payne. The reign of power you envisioned will finally be realized. However, its vanguard will not be you who passed away, but me. I wonder how things are going for Sarada and Mitsuki. I'm worried about Sasuke too. Wait, I need to focus on my own mission. After the battle with pain, the ninja world began a significant shift. The Akatsuki and Madara Uchiha declared war on the ninja world in a bid to attain the tailed beasts. And Sasuke, still trapped in the depths of darkness, moved to action as well. He was hell-bent on the destruction of the Hidden Leaf and the restoration of his clan. Huh? But why? I thought Sasuke wanted to kill his older brother. The ugly details of life are often kept hidden. Sasuke learned that what he was told about Itachi was false. He set out to crush the Hidden Leaf and to kill the Hokage. And there to meet him was none other than Naruto who had no intention of abandoning his friendship with Sasuke.
set him on this fateful path. But in spite of Sasuke's strange situation, Naruto continued to reject him. Naruto began to lose hope. His friend was now an enemy of the ninja world, and he didn't know how to help. So what did Dad decide to do? Right to set aside all other worries, he chose to save his friend. To Naruto, it may look like a selfish decision. Let's move on to the next point. <laughs> the battle between Naruto and Sasuke ended in a stalemate, and once again they went their separate ways. Naruto set out to save Sasuke, and Sasuke to destroy Naruto. In a strange way, you could say their paths were aligned. Sure, you could say that, but it doesn't feel right. The ninja world became further embroiled in combat. After Madara's declaration of war, the ninja formed the allied shinobi forces ushering in the fourth great ninja war. Of course, Naruto quickly took to the battlefield with his new companions, first encountering ninja from his past. Naruto! I'm too dangerous like this! You better defeat me! Quickly! Yeah! No kidding. I am too. Let's do this, Naruto. Oh, Why does Dad look like that? Before the war, he obtained the Jutsu. It allowed him to harness the power of Nine Tails. Seriously? So he's finally able to use Nine Tails here. They're getting stronger by the minute, Dad. He did grow stronger. His opponent was a ninja, even more powerful than he. I guess you're talking about that Naruto guy who controlled pain, right? You heard of that powerful ninja being resurrected with a reanimation jutsu during the fourth big ninja war. Seeing it happen right in front of me like this is crazy. Naruto was a powerful ninja, with the Sage of the Six Paths at his disposal. But Naruto had an encouraging ally at his side, Itachi Shida. Itachi was brought back by reanimation, but he was able to break away from the Jutsu's power. At this point, Naruto knew the truth about Itachi. So instead of holding any ill will toward him, he truly considered Itachi an ally. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> In the midst of intense fighting between Naruto and Nagato, Itachi caught Nagato with his guard down and successfully sealed him away. They actually didn't have to fight anymore at this point, but I guess that's the fault of the war. Each phase of the battle took a dramatic turn. Notably, there was one ninja revived with the reanimation jutsu, who confronted the ninja who were fighting in the desert, and weakened the allied shinobi forces. His name was Madara Uchiha. Even Naruto faced a grueling battle when confronted with Madara's power.
Kazekage, Naruto, we're stopping him. You're, you're not. Rasengan. Right. Madara Uchiha, legendary ninja who founded the hidden village with the first Okada. Sorry, someone else with that. What's up with this? I'll finish this. Heaven could see it. This was the real Madara, not the one we've known until now. Was the monster. Then who the heck is the fake Madara? One of the instigators of the first great ninja war. Madara Uchiha. Talk about intimidating. Sage Art! Massive for Sengon Mega Barrage! Madara's not even at full power yet. He's merely toying with Naruto. Well, time to go already? Fighting Naruto and the others was nothing more than child's play to Madara. He summons a meteor, dealing a devastating blow to the allied shinobi forces. But what happened to Dad then? Only Naruto's shadow clone was in that area. He was actually somewhere else at the time. Somewhere else? Naruto ventured far away to confront someone. It was the imposter, Madara. The world no longer needs hope, a future, or any famous heroes. When this reality ends, all that will remain is a single endless dream. Kids look up to heroes. So I'm gonna keep charging ahead without losing my way! Take the beat, Kurama! Now beat planetary Rasen Shuriken! I'm gonna become the best Hokage there's ever been! That's my dream, you idiot! So he's the fake Madara, right? So, the real Madara is Madara, and the fake Madara is Toby. Speak with me, Kurama! Come on, I'm making my Now beat planetary Rasen Shuriken! Anyway, now that Dad looks like that, is he maybe gonna... In the midst of a desperate struggle, Naruto gradually came to communicate with Nine Tails. Or Kuruma, rather. Once they had finally reconciled, Naruto acquired full control of Kuruma's power. What the heck was this Toby guy planning to do anyway? It's the reason they were capturing tailed beasts such as Kuruma. Toby's goal was to resurrect Ten Tails as a combination of other tailed beasts. Then he would use the power of Ten Tails to form the Infinite Super Yomi. Infinite Super... what? What the heck is that? A world made solely of utopian dreams, the Infinite Super Yomi would provide such a space and pull everyone into it. The will of all human beings would die, reducing them to nothing. Naruto and the other ninjas could never allow that to happen. Of course they wouldn't. I wouldn't allow that either. I'm gonna enjoy ripping that mask off of you! Yeah. What does he look like underneath all that? In the midst of a long, intense battle, thanks to the quick wit of Kakashi and his team, they were finally able to uncover Toby's true identity. He was a man dreaming to become Hokage, just like Naruto. 
and a close friend of Kakashi from childhood. His name was Obito Uchiha. Obito Uchiha? Once, Obito was pure of heart. And because of this, he lost his way at the death of a loved one. This drove him to cross swords in battle with his former best friend, in hopes of bringing this world of dreams to fruition. It's kind of similar to Dad and Sasuke. Two best friends, fighting each other. I got it! I got the light! Then you'd better get back to the Time Reservoir. Once again, I see an unsettling omen there. Right. Okay, got it. Her memory appeared. That's the third time. I wonder, what'll I see this time? I found you. <laughs> if we use her power, the ninja world will be in pandemonium. Nanashi Uchiha, used by her clan as a weapon. You will prove useful in this time period as well. Who are you people? People who understand you. You hate ninja in the ninja world. Or am I wrong? Don't you hate the ninja who used you and sealed you away? Help me. We can throw the entire ninja world into chaos together. I think that was from when Nanashi was released from the seal. Hmm. They used her hatred to get her to help. Damn it. Let's continue. Obito had declared the Fourth Great Ninja War, and it was about to reach its climax. With the Allied Shinobi forces standing with Naruto and Madara fighting alongside Obito, the fight turned extremely chaotic. It became exceedingly difficult to drive back the combined forces of Obito and Madara. Finally, Ten Tails came into being, and Obito took in its power. Jeez, after that it seems like they'd be toast. Just as they had Naruto cornered, a certain ninja appeared, foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. It was Sasuke Uchiha. Sasuke? It's only a matter of time before the infinite Tsukuyomi activates. The fact of the matter is, your war has ended. No, it hasn't. Sasuke and I are still here! Now! It seems to me, these two could be Obito, even infused with the Tentails, right? The power of Ten Tails is equal to the Sage of the Six Paths. And with ordinary strength, it would be difficult to cause even a hint of damage. If anyone could do it for the ninja world back then, it would only be Naruto and Sasuke. Plus, we've got these two rivals who are actually friends teaming up to fight. This is getting really intense. Up to this point. To a barrage of attacks from Ten Tails, as well as Obito and Madara, many members of the Allied Shinobi forces lost their lives. Your uncle, Magic Fee, was among them. Yeah, I know about that. The losses were so heavy, even Naruto was overcome by despair. When at his lowest, the one who reached out to save him was none other than your mother. Let's move on to the next
With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the allied shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him, losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. You cannot defeat me. I have the power of the six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid! We're gonna defeat! You, mother. Your head looks different again. What happened this time? He encountered the Sage of the Six Paths in the spiritual realm, between life and death. And together with Sasuke, they borrowed his power. Life and death? Both of them were more than wounded by my life. Huh? So they both died? <laughs> they didn't die, but were on the precipice of death. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. I is this for real? I mean, how did he get that far with them? How freaking strong is this Madara Uchiha? But, I don't know. I guess Madara was obsessed with creating that infinite Tsukuyomi. Madara was trying to destroy the ninja world. But he wasn't always this way. Seek with me, Kurama! Kill me, planetary Rasen Shuriken! He was once a noble man. Dude, are you serious? Madara was compassionate? The time has come to win this fight. After a back-and-forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor, and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It's time to gather up all my chakra. And unify it once more. Naive. Who the hell is that? Naive. It sealed away in ancient times due to possessing too much power. She was known as the Rabbit Goddess, the Demon, and other things. Her name was Kaguya Otsutsuki. Otsutsuki? That name again? But hold on a second, what happened to Madara? Madara had a companion named Setsu, who he trusted with his life. He thought Setsu was working with him to carry out infinite Tsukuyomi. But once Madara confirmed the plans had been completed, Zetsu betrayed him. Huh? Why? Zetsu wasn't a true friend to Madara. He was actually working to resurrect Kaguya. He used infinite Tsukuyomi to gather chocolate Team for the resurrection. The and eventually Madara himself Sasuke, was Sakura, as the vessel. 
Chakra back. She returned to the ninja world once again. I guess Dad, Sasuke, and everybody else managed to get through it alive somehow. I'll hit you! You won't get away. Me fight. Uh, right here. Too Too slow. Slow. I'll hit you. I'm here. Uh, you like I'll hit you. Uh, I'll hit you. Uh, Take with me, Kurama. Now these planetary Rasen Shuriken. So we're moving on? It was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya, was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Enough already! Just let me cut you down! You can't cut your connection to me! I'm right here! This connection that... Just shut up already! The connections are what make this world such a pain! I'm right here! The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto! My connection to you is the most irritating one of all! I am Obito, Madara, and Kaguya? Dad ends up clashing with Sasuke? It's fate. That's all we can call it. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal. He fought and fought to see it through. But Dad still refused to give up. The efforts Naruto made to save Sasuke were soon close to the entire ninja world. By giving and receiving support. Building and protecting connection with friends, Naruto diligently followed his ninja way. Over and over. Over and over and over. Right there. Why do you keep doing this? Plane control! What's wrong with you? Right there. What are you? 
Right here! Your friend! I told you I can't leave you alone, remember? You got this, Dad. Good luck. You already know the future. Why so tense? Well, with all that's happened here, I know how tough things were for Dad. So knowing what happens doesn't even matter. I want to cheer on my dad because he's fighting to save Sasuke. And that's it. Let's finish this. This battle. All of our battles! It's time. Are you ready? They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life-or-death struggle, and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend. And that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. The light! Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right. You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like... My dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared, but it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now, but I want this child to walk within the light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? 
having lost her parents and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now, let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories, resurrect here and now. <laughs>